This is not going to come as a surprise to women and mothers because we already know this, but women often have to find small pockets of time to do their hobbies if they even have hobbies. I asked women what their hobbies were and the overwhelming response was reading. And when I asked them why, they said, oh, well, because I can do it when I'm with my kids, I can do it in pockets of time, I can do it while I'm waiting at a doctor's office, that's their hobby. But I don't think if you ask men that they would say reading is their hobby. Reading is something they do, that they have time for, that they build into their day, but it's not their hobby. I also heard women saying yoga or Pilates or working out or even things like getting a manicure or pedicure, things that are really self-care or wellness, right? Like when we think about exercise, oftentimes that should be built into someone's everyday life. That shouldn't be a hobby. That should, should be something that they have access to do. But because women are disproportionately impacted by domestic labor and child care taking, then they are often the ones who are trying to find hobbies in small, small pockets of time, right? They are reading a book while their kid is busy with a show. They are knitting while they're playing with their kids. They even do their hobbies with their children, right? If they do music, they involve their children. They are not able to find time to do their hobbies in the same way men do. If you ask a man what his hobbies are, he might say golfing, hunting, hiking, marathons, working on my car in the garage, dirt biking. These are all hobbies that take them outside of the home. They need designated time to do those, but the only reason they're able to do that is because women are doing the bulk of the domestic labor and caretaking for kids. So they have the time to leave the house and go do those hobbies whenever they would like to. And the interesting thing too is when we think about hobbies for women, oftentimes they're self-care related or even about their appearance, working out, getting their hair done, getting their nails done, or even sometimes just seeing their friends, right? These are things that you would think are normal, but we call them hobbies for women because we want them to view that time as a hobby because there is no other time for the hobbies, right? Men don't have to view self-care tasks as hobbies because they don't typically have them in the same way women do because women are also being held to this standard, this ideal beauty image that they have to meet. So now they're spending their time and hobbies on trying to look good for whoever, this society, right? Like society as a whole expects women to look a certain way. And so our hobbies are oftentimes dictated by our roles as wives and mothers. And oftentimes too, these are women who work full time. So they are working and taking care of kids and doing the bulk of the domestic labor. So for them to find time to do this is near impossible, which is why on this app, you see women waking up at four or 5 a.m. in the morning just to get like 10 minutes to read a book or journal. Isn't that interesting, right? Men will have protected time to do hobbies. And I'm not saying this is an individual failure of men or women either. I think this is a societal issue. I think men have been told, that they shouldn't feel guilty about taking this time, that this is normal to take time for yourself and to have these hobbies because it makes you a more well-rounded, better human being. But women are told that when they leave their kids behind, they should feel guilty for doing that. That if you leave your kids for an extended period of time, don't you feel bad? Wouldn't you rather spend time with them? That's the message women are given and men are given a message that they should be taking time because it makes them a better person. I think hobbies are such an interesting way to kind of look at the way society treats men and women and our time and the messages that messages that women are told versus men.